Greetings and welcome to the Halloween edition of the Sliders Review. And I'm here today to talk to you about The Haunting Hour, My Sister the Witch. This isn't a scary episode, it's not really spooky, it's not really creepy. <clears throat> um, it's more interesting and mysterious than anything else. But it's still a pretty good episode until the ending. The ending got kind of weak visually and everything. Um, but this is just more of a mysterious type episode. So basically, what it is, it entails a young boy. His name is Pete. He's in some kind of like Boy Scout thing with his friend Reggie. And they're doing a diorama. And Pete is so excited because his sister is coming back from boarding school. He hasn't saw her in a long time. He really loves his sister. Well, when she comes back, she's friendly and everything. But she has changed. She's now like a teenager and stuff while he is still a kid. So, of course, she wants to do more teenagery type stuff and have her privacy and, you know, how, like, little brothers are and stuff. So, she drops a book, and it's a weird book called The Grimoire, and it has these weird satanic, like, devilish looking, like, picture of, like, a thing. And so, his friend Reggie's all like, The Grimoire? That's a weird name and stuff like that. And then she also has a new cat that she found when she was at boarding school. And she named it Bobby Opsala or something like that. And Reggie's like, wow, that's a weird name <laughs> and everything. And so, like, he constantly, Pete constantly tries to hang out with his sister. The sister's all like, oh, no, I'm too busy. Or, you know, I got, like, teenager -y stuff to do and all this other stuff. And he sees that she sneaks off in the middle of the night. So he goes to, like, follow her and stuff. And so, like, when he follows her, she's wearing, like, a black cloak. And so, um, she just walks out into the woods, and you see these candles by her, and she's doing a spell. And so, he's just like, oh my god, like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? It's creepy. And so, I think he makes, like, a rattling noise, if I'm mistaken. And she turns and looks down, but he, like, scatters away, right? So, even before then... Reggie and Pete's been kind of like weirded out by like Pete's sister Alice and everything because when like what was it? I think Reggie was trying to like look through her book or maybe Pete was she got pissed and all like she wants her privacy and everything and she just gives them like the strangest stares like it's a very glaring stare right so anyway when he's back at like camp He's talking to Reggie about what he saw in the woods and think it's like really weird and stuff like that. And Reggie's all like, man, I hate to say it, but I think your sister's a witch. <laughs> and Pete's all like, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as magic and everything. He's like, look, man, I looked up on the internet and that the Grim Moor supposed to be like a book of spells. And that cat thing she named after, it supposed to be some kind of like witch demon god thing or something like that. And so he's like, whatever, man. And, but then the camp counselor dude will he tells them there's no such thing as magic no such thing as witches science is the true magic and everything and people would have called that magic many years ago if they would have sought science so back at um pete and what's his name um pete's house yeah alice is like gone somewhere and reggie and Pete are snooping around trying to see if they can see, like, find any, like, magic stuff in her little, um, uh, it's just it's kind of like her little box and stuff. So they're going through that. And so Reggie's doing a bad job of, like, looking out for his sister. They hear a noise. It's her. They run into the closet. She's in her room, but the cat gives them away, like, an alert system. And, she, and then they make, like, a noise. And, the, oh, no, 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 He's outside, okay, Reggie's outside in the bushes with walkie-talkie. Pete is in her room searching for stuff. And Reggie's doing a bad job looking out for her. So, um, when the cat makes a weird noise, uh, like an alert system type thing, he gets spooked. And then he starts hearing his sister come in the room. So he runs into the closet, but then he makes a noise because then Reggie starts to uh, contact him on a walkie-talkie. So he's trying to turn it off. And in comes, like, well, Alice. So she pretends to, like, leave the room. He comes out, and she grabs her his head, and she snips some of his hair off. 
So he's all like, I knew it. You're like a witch and you snipped my hair or something like that. Or maybe, or, or something like that. And then, so the dad comes in, wants to know what's going on. And Al is all like, he won't give me no privacy. And he's snooping around my room. And then the dad's all like, well, I found Reggie in the bushes with a walkie talkie. So <laughs> Pete is pissed, rips off um, Reggie's badge for surveillance and everything. <laughs> And, and so Pete tells his dad, you know, she cut my hair and everything. So Reggie takes a piece of her hair and he just like looks at it. So the next day, they're still talking about how they think the sister's a witch and all this other crap. And so Pete still doesn't really want to believe it, but then his foot is starting to hurt. He takes off his shoe. There's pieces of his hair and a talisman in there. And Reggie's like, I knew it. I knew it. Your sister's a witch. And then she put that talisman in there to, to spell you and everything. And he's like, look, dude, you can't listen to anything your sister say. You can't eat nothing your sister say, blah, blah, blah. And then so Pete's all like, I'm going to prove you wrong, man. I'm going to prove to Alice that science is the real key and there's no such thing as magic. And he's like, well, how are you going to do that? And he's all like, I'm going to throw away the grimoire and burn it. I got to say, like, this isn't this isn't like your spooky episode, but it's just interesting. It's kind of like what's going on, because like the sister is acting so weird and witch like, you know. So like one night, um, Alice decided to cook food for the family. Pete does not want to eat none of it. And so the family, they're just amazed at how good the food tastes. Then all of a sudden they freeze in mid sentence. Alice is ecstatic. She's like, woohoo, the spell worked. <laughs> and Pete's all like, oh my God, it's true. You are a witch. So he gets scared. He runs up to her room and she's all like, no, no, like you don't understand. And so she chases after him. And I'm just like, wait, why is she acting all nice and saying he doesn't understand? Like what's going on? Here comes the twist. So he gets in her room. He takes the book and he bails. She goes back downstairs to like, you know, take the spell off her parents, but she can't. She's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, what's going on? Cause now she's acting like nice and sweet and everything. So, um, he runs off and he goes and he burns like the book or something like that. She chases after him and she tells him straight up that, um, you're an idiot. Like, yeah, I am a witch. But I'm not a bad witch, I'm a good witch. And she tells him what happened. When she was at boarding school, um, some bad stuff started happening to her, like she fell off a horse. She started talking to this one girl. The one girl is like a witch and says that you've been spelled and so has your family and somebody's coming to hurt your family. And so she taught Alice how to be like a witch and how to protect herself. So that's what all this stuff has been going on. And so when they're back in the house, talking about this um he said well you put like a talisman in my hair and my shoe and she's all like i never did that i took your hair as a protection spell but then so she tells him straight up who is the one person who's always in the house and always like um uh, in our eye uh, and it could be like in our room to plant something in your shoe and she's all like it has to be reggie and he's all like no way reggie could be a witch he believes in science and all this stuff and he's my best friend She's all like, well, it has to be somebody. And then he's all like, well, Reggie did kept assisting you with a witch and stuff. So she tells him, like, she can get the truth from him, but she has to do, like, a um, barrier spell to keep him put. But she doesn't have any bat guano and everything for the protection spell. And he's all like, well, you know, he learned that bat guano has sodium nitrate in it. And they have tons of it back at the, um, the campsite thing. And so Reggie has the key to like the little um safe thing or whatever you call it, the um drawer. And so they call up like you know Reggie to meet them there. But then they start hearing a weird hissing noise. And they open up the cabinet and there's tons of rattlesnakes in their cupboard. They're hollering, they're screaming, they're freaking out. They're all like, we have to hurry up and find out how Reggie's doing all this. But they're all like, well we can't leave our parents in the house with there's snakes. The funniest thing happens. <laughs> the parents are now outside. They, they drag the parents' bodies outside. <laughs> Put a note on the mom. The dad wakes up from the spell. And on the note, it says, Don't go back in the house. They're rattlesnakes. Call the exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, I love how quirky this episode is. So Pete and Reggie, they're at the campsite and Reggie's getting him the, um, the sodium stuff. As soon as he hands it to him, then he's talking about how like, man, I told you your sister's a witch and all this other stuff. So Pete like surrounds Reggie in like a, a barrier. Uh, uh, he pours like the salt stuff or the sodium stuff all around him. And Reggie's like, man, what are you doing? And then so Alice is there and she's chanting. He's all like, dude, like your sister, she's putting a hex on me, blah, 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 blah. So then she's trying to do like a revealing spell to show who is trying to curse her family in this little um, bowl thing, but it's too blurry. So she said it won't work. So Pete frees Reggie. And then so they're talking and he's like, I can't believe what you did to me, man. I'm going to tell Will or Bill, what his name is. Well, Bill and Will are the same name technically. And then so Al is all like, Bill, Billy, little Willie. <laughs> and then she's like, well, how do you know him? Apparently, now the twist has been revealed. She knew him back in school. He had a huge crush on her. He would not leave her alone. So she read one of his love letters out loud to the class and they laughed at him. And then, so they all like, you don't think he's holding a grudge this long, do you? And then he shows up. The dude is levitating off the ground. And this is when it gets bad. You see, they, they, didn't, they didn't have the money to make him levitate. So what did they do? They show like his torso up you know, like, to the head and they show him wobbling back and forth like he's floating. Then they show him his feet um, levitating off the ground as he's like, you know, because technically he's just holding up on something like a, a pull up or something, you know. So it's the lamest thing ever. And he's talking about how he's a warlock and how she hurt him and all this other crap and he's going to get revenge. And then... um his magic is way more powerful than hers and stuff. And that he has these mirrors that block her magic. So um, she can't hurt him. But then she realizes, hey, if, uh, well, I think Pete tells her this. If, you know, Pete's all like, well, you can control Reggie because you still have his um, badge and everything. So he gives the badge to Alice and she starts doing this weird spell with her arm, controlling like Reggie. And it's really weird, like the way she's moving her arms. And it just wasn't choreographed good at all. And so he and see he's all like, "Foo, Reggie can't hurt me," <laughs> and everything. She's like, "No, but he can hurt your mirrors and stuff." So Reggie goes over and smashes the mirrors, and what's his name falls to the ground. Then she does a quick like uh, 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 enchantment, and poof, Bill is like gone. And it's kind of like, well, "What the world just happened?" The next day, at summer camp thing, whatever, they're having like some type of like talent show type thing, and the judge is like giving them like an award. Now Pete and Reggie have become friends again, and so oh, because what it was is that yeah, I forgot Reggie had set Pete up because Bill had promised him badges if he will betray on um, Pete so he can get back to his sister and stuff. So anyway. Then they want to know, uh, was it then the, the, the judge counselor who wants to know, well, what happened to like Will and Bill? And they're like, well, we don't know. Then we see <sighs> Pete pick up a giant frog. It's Bill. So she turns him into a frog. The ending is not very good whatsoever, but this, the beginning in the middle was really good. It was interesting. It was mysterious. It was kind of like, what's going on with the sister? You really believe that she is like a bad person, you know what I'm saying? Because of how they set things up. But then it fell completely flat towards the end. And that's one thing that does happen with the haunting hour. They tend to fall flat towards the end of the episode, especially with season two and to the end of the series and stuff. Now, wasn't that spooky? All right, well, I shall talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>